Sorry guys, I was interrupted there, so I'm gonna do something that I never do before. Um, if I did not have a copyright strike, I wouldn't have to do this, but unfortunately, there have been claims on videos that, like, I have copyright strikes and I should not. It'll eventually go away, but, like, for right now, I need to get these reviews up today, and I know that I'm not gonna be able to change that, so I really like the way the first part of the review went, so, like I said, I'm gonna do something I never do, which is put this review in two parts. That's what I'm gonna do, um, but let's get back to my review of that, too, because I want to continue my thoughts, so... Something I really liked about the screenplay that I forgot to say is, like I said, the whole thing with Ash in that house is just very interesting because we're really getting into his psyche. And the thing I like about that's really funny is that when we have thoughts of, like, things that are going to happen to us, we're paranoid. And it's really, you know, really weird. And they really do that to the extreme here. The worst things that Ash could think about actually happen to him. You know, like, his own hand gets infected, and these are spoilers now if you guys haven't seen them, but, you know, his own hand gets infected because of, um, be because of, you know, his, his girlfriend coming back to bite his hand. I mean, just ridiculous things like that. You know, everything in the house just, like, starts laughing at him. It's really funny stuff, but at the same time, you really do feel bad for his character because he's slowly going insane, and I thought they handled that very well. I definitely really love that. Um, he does eventually get some really badass stuff, but it really worked well with this character, and it really made sense, because obviously, you know, if you were in that situation, you obviously would be freaking out, wouldn't know what to do. And I thought they handled that very, very well, I have to say. Definitely really loved that, and I like they played it for laughs. I definitely like that. But I also found the story with Annie just as interesting. I found the story with her just as great. I thought it was a really interesting story. They really um, showed why her story was important. It really was another piece of the puzzle that we need. You know, we didn't know all the details about Professor Noseby that we know in this movie, um, in the last movie, which I like, because it really sets us up the story well for Army of Darkness, which it, I, I think they definitely did that very well here, I have to say. Um, the cinematography, like I said, this movie had a much bigger budget. The first movie, they had a very small budget. In fact, Sam Raimi wasn't even known that well. I, if, if I know correctly, he just got a bunch of his friends to be in the movie. And this movie was the exact opposite. They went completely over the top with this, and I love it. I mean, the creatures look amazing in this movie. They really do. All the deadites, they look amazing to look at. They all look really creepy, but they also look really over the top funny. And they do some really great stuff with them, I have to say. Um... Like, uh, that they, they found ways to make these creatures not scary, but funny, and I like the way they were able to do that. You know, a lot of movies, again, they try to find that balance, and a lot of them don't, can't do what this movie did, and I thought they just did that perfectly here. The cinematography really looked amazing. There's so much blood as well, of course, and it's fantastic to watch, really. It's awesome, and I love that. The score was also really great. It took, it didn't take itself too seriously. Like, the score at times is very cartoony, but I like that because Ash himself is kind of a cartoon. I mean, if you think about his character, he very much is a live action cartoon and I love that. I think he's he's awesome that way. I really love his character that way. Um the editing as well is perfectly paced. The movie went by like that. I was into it the whole time. I really like how like I said the first 40 minutes are like Ash by himself and then eventually he finds, you know, the other survivors and then it turns into um the, then the actual plot of the movie starts, which I definitely really love and I thought they handled that very well, I have to say. Um but like I said, I, I was surprised by the amount of heart that the movie has. Well, I wasn't expecting to have as much heart as it did, and it did have some heart. It wasn't afraid to get serious, and I definitely really love that. But now I want to talk about spoilers, because this is a movie where you just have to talk about spoilers for Evil Dead 2. It's does, you can't talk about how awesome this movie is without talking about spoilers. So if you guys have not seen Evil Dead 2, do not watch the rest of the review, because you don't want to spoil it for, for yourself. It's a really great movie, and I don't want you guys to find out what happens in this movie, because it truly is awesome. So let's just get into it. Okay. So, of course, um, the thing that I definitely want to talk about is um, when Ash, of course, you know, that, that great moment where Ash doesn't really know if he's going to be able to defeat all these deadites. You know, Henrietta is just really powerful, and you don't really know what's going to happen. But then when he's able to, you know, convince Annie that he's normal, he does get possessed, if you remember, at one point he does get possessed, and he's able to convince Annie that he's normal again. It's a really great moment. However, the moment for me that Ash turns into a true badass and a true hero is when he, of course, you know, he's had to cut off his hand, and all this, after all the shit he's been through, he uses the chainsaw as his hand, and that was awesome. I love that. I have to say. It sounds so ridiculous, and it really is, but that's why it works so well. It goes so well with the character. Of course Ash would do something like that. I think that's awesome that he did that, and of course that creates the iconic look for Ash, and just the fact that his other hand is a chainsaw is awesome. I love that, and the way the movie ends, 
Annie does die. I mean, I, it was sad that she died, but it was inevitable because, of course, we have to set the stage for Army of Darkness. And then, of course, you know, Ash thinks he's gotten rid of the Deadites, but he hasn't. And, uh, you know, he blasts the happy like Deadite with his shotgun. And the Knights begin, and basically he uh, goes into that portal thing. And he doesn't know where he's going to go. He ends up going into the past, which, again, perfectly sets the stage for uh, Army of Darkness. We get that really cheesy scream, which I loved. And I thought they really ended that very well. And also, when he found out that there are missing pages of the Necro, um, Necro Minecon, it's a really great twist because, again, that really shows, okay, there's still more of the story to tell, and I definitely love that. But the other thing I love about the ending is, of course, we find out in this movie that this first occurred in 300 AD. So it would perfectly make sense for him to go to 1300 AD. That would perfectly make sense that he did that because, obviously, that was the first time that uh, the Deadites appeared. So it would make perfect sense for him to do that. And I think that perfectly sets the stage for the movie, and I thought that was a perfect ending, definitely. But overall, guys, Evil Dead 2 is just a better movie overall than Evil Dead. You know, it's 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 much different from Evil Dead. It's, it's not meant to be taken nearly as seriously as Evil Dead was, which I think is why it works so well. It's able to balance comedy, horror, and drama very well, and I definitely really love it about the movie. And I'm definitely going to give Evil Dead 2 a 5 out of 5 or an A+. It is a fantastic movie. I really loved it. Um... It's by far some of the most fun I've had watching, probably the most fun I've had watching any movie of Thorough Days of Horror. Definitely the most fun I've had watching any movie of Thorough Days of Horror. I absolutely loved it. And there is one more movie left to review, you guys. One more, and then Thorough Days of Horror will be over, so I will get that review out. Hopefully that one will not have to be split into two parts, because I'm sorry that this one had to. I know that was annoying, but just it, it, just because of, uh, you know, the inconvenience, and because it's Halloween, because there's trick-or-treaters at the door, things like that, I was interrupted, and hopefully it doesn't have to happen again. If it does, I apologize guys but that's just this review hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys saw this movie you have seen i obviously would love to hear your thoughts on this movie um definitely check it out if you have and in fact i say you can go into this one not even watching evil dead because of course they recreate it in the first movie which i really love and they do the same thing in army of darkness which i will uh, talk about when i review army of darkness but definitely check out this movie you have and i will see you guys in my next video which will be for the final review for 31 days of horror and i will see you guys for that okay bye